Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in this 13th video of service costing chapter, we are going to solve our 12th problem of the series. And the question is from ICI study material, practical problem number three, right? And we are coming back to the transport industry, right? So what is happening in this question? Let's just read and understand first. Now see here, a company is considering three alternative proposals for conveyance facilities for its sales personnel who has to do considerable traveling approximately 20,000 kilometers every year. The proposals are as follows. One, two, three. Yes. What's happening over here? Here the company is saying that we have sales personnel, our sales staff. Yeah. They have to travel so much, 20,000 kilometers every year. And for this, we have to arrange a transport facility for them. Yeah. Conveyance facilities means transport facility. Okay. So now, what are the options of the company? The company is saying we have three options, three alternative proposals. One, two, three. Let's just understand what are these options. The first option is, see here, purchase and maintain its own fleet of cars. So what are we going to do? We are going to purchase cars for our sales employees so that they can travel with that, right? And the average cost of a car is how much? Six lakhs. Okay, that's our first option. We have to purchase the car and maintain it. The second option is C, allow the executive, the salesman, to use his own car, his own personal car and reimburse the expenses at the rate of 10 rupees per kilometer. How much he's going to travel in a year? He's going to travel 20,000 kilometers. So 20,000 into 10. That's what we are going to do. And we're going to pay this money to the sales uh, men. Why? Because he is using his own car. Now he will be paying the petrol. He will doing the uh, repairs and maintaining the tire cost. Everything he will do by himself. Isn't it? So for that, we have to pay him something. Now he's using his own personal car for the company. So that's called reimbursement. Okay. We are reimbursing the expense of the car. Fine. Okay. And then extra, we are going to bear insurance cost also. That's only thing that is there. Fine. Okay. That's the second option, reimbursement. The third option is, see here, hire cars from an agency at 180,000 per year per car, okay? The company will have to bear cost of petrol, taxes, and tires. Now, in the third option, what is happening? We are not purchasing the car. We are not letting the salesman use his own personal call and reimbursement. No, we are not doing that also. What we are doing is, we are hiring the car from an agency. We are taking the car for rent. Okay, and the rent is 180,000 per year per car. But the company will have to pay the cost of petrol, na? taxes also, tire replacement also, all this, the company will have to pay. That's fine. That's the third option. Is that clear? Simple. These three options we have. Then what they are saying, the following further details are available. Okay, so they are saying, see here, petrol, six rupees per kilometer. Actually, the cost is very high of petrol, but just the question is saying you have to accept that. Okay, so that's the petrol cost, six rupees per kilometer. Fine. And then see tire 0 0.12 per kilometer. They have already done the calculation and everything directly. They have given you right. How much are we going to travel 20,000 kilometers? So we have to just multiply with 0 0.12. We will get the uh, tire cost. Okay, fine. Then see taxes. 800 rupees per car per annum all right then repairs and maintenance they are saying uh, 0 0.20 per kilometer yeah if we are purchasing the car then all these expenses will be there now petrol tire taxes repairs and maintenance insurance everything we'll have to pay if you are purchasing the car fine insurance how much 1200 per car per annum and then they are saying life of the car five years with annual mileage of 20,000 kilometer now what is this life of the car why have they given this you have to understand they have given you this because to calculate the depreciation you all know now we can't take the entire cost in first year only what do we take we just take the depreciation isn't it whenever we purchase something in the first year what do we take we take only the depreciation of that specific year okay so that's how we'll calculate the depreciation and then see then they are saying resale value 80,000 at the end of the fifth year. What is this? This is the scrap value. 
so while calculating the depreciation what is the formula that we use straight line method cost minus scrap value divide by estimated useful life that is the formula so 6 lakh minus 80,000 you have to do and then divide by the useful life that is 5 years you will get the annual depreciation okay simple then the requirements here work out the relative cost of three proposals and rank them now tell me how are you going to you know rank these proposals it's really simple now understand which is the best proposal the best proposal which has the lowest cost that would be the rank one and then which has a little bit more cost that will be what rank two and then the highest cost proposal will be rank three really simple now that's how you're going to select now which which proposal you are going to suggest to the company the one which is the first rank which has the lowest cost simple common sense all right now let's just see the solution and let's understand how to do this it's really simple right let's see the solution now now see here we have the solution calculation of relative cost of three proposals and their ranking see it's really simple we have three options right or three alternatives we can say first purchase our own car so a column for that where we will take all the cost of purchasing okay of this proposal and then the second option is we can reimburse isn't it reimbursement so that's our second alternative second option right so second column for that and then the third column is for the third option that is if we hire the car okay and then in this question everything is given per year per year right so we are going to solve this question per annum is that clear okay so it's really simple see here this is a transport uh, industry question isn't it so if you want you can break this what do you say all the cost and everything into three categories you all know but let's just not do that let's just do it directly line by line in a very simple way that's also fine okay it's not necessary you have to follow the format okay so we are going to do it a little bit differently okay so see it's really simple first let's talk about purchase option if we purchase the option then what we are doing we are purchasing right so how much we are purchasing one car for we are purchasing it for six lakh yes so can we take entire six lakh over here no in one year the entire six lakh cannot go over here what will go only the depreciation will go how to calculate the depreciation you all know six lakh is the cost and then they said scrap value is also there the scrap value is how much eighty thousand they said at the end they gave us eighty thousand so minus eighty thousand that is equal to five lakh twenty thousand divide by what divide by five useful life that is equal to one lakh four thousand this will be the depreciation in the first option right is it clear simple and straightforward then what else will happen if we are purchasing our own car if you are purchasing our own car then we have to do all the costs no such as we have to bear the petrol cost tire taxes repairs and maintenance insurance all these we have to bear right so if you talk about petrol then petrol is how much six rupees per kilometer so what you have to do six into what six into twenty thousand no so that is equal to how much one lakh twenty thousand is that clear and then tires yeah after certain kilometers we have to replace the tire so tire cost is also there but they have already done the calculation given us directly tire is how much 0 0.12 per kilometer so 20,000 into 0 0.12 you have to do you will get the tire cost is it clear 2400 simple yes and then what taxes 800 rupees per car per annum here what we are doing we are calculating per car per annum only so directly you will take it right taxes 800 is it clear simple then what repairs and maintenance they have said 0 0.20 per kilometer just multiply 0 0.20 into 20,000 right so you have got it 4,000 is it clear simple yeah and then what insurance insurance they have said 1,200 per car per annum so see here insurance 1,200 yeah can you see is it clear and then anything else see anything else no that's it yeah everything regarding purchase has been done then what second option reimbursement if we go for this option what will happen they have said see here allow the executive use his own car and reimburse the expenses at the rate of rupees 
10 rupees per kilometer so we are going to give him what reimbursement cost right we're going to give the reimbursement money to the employee because he is using his own personal car right so how you will do it really simple they have said 10 rupees per kilometer that's the reimbursement cost 10 into 20,000 you have to do right so see reimbursement cost 10 into 20,000 is it clear simple and straightforward see right 2 lakh and then they also said in the question that we also have to bear the insurance cost by we I mean the company has to bear the insurance cost insurance cost is how much 1200 per car per annum yes so here also 1200 is it clear simple and straightforward there is nothing over here okay right you understood this then what then is there anything in this reimbursement option nothing just these two right that's all they said yeah petrol tire taxes repairs and maintenance all this will be borne by the employee only because they have not mentioned anything right we are just paying him reimbursement cost and then the insurance that's all in the second option then come to the third option in the third option what is happening hire cars from an agency at 180000 per year per car so first we have to pay what hiring charges isn't it the rent we have to pay now the rent of the whole year so see here come to the higher option so higher charges we have to pay how much are the higher charges one lakh eighty thousand so directly you can take one lakh eighty thousand isn't it directly you can take no one lakh eighty thousand yes directly you can take and then what happened then they said see the company will have to bear cost of petrol taxes and tires so what you have to do see petrol 1 lakh 20 same tire also same taxes also same yeah copy paste do you understand this these are separate separate options right so this is what will happen now you have to just make total and calculate the total cost of each option separately right so that's really simple 1 lakh 4000 plus 1 lakh 20 plus 2400 plus 800 plus 4000 plus 1200 that is equal to how much 2 lakh 32400 and here 2 lakh plus 1200 that is 2 lakh 1200 right and here 1 lakh 20000 plus 2400 plus 800 plus 1 lakh 80000 that's equal to 3 lakh 3200 fine these are the total costs now tell me which is the best option tell me the best option is the option which has the lowest cost yeah the lowest cost is over here 2 lakh 1200 yeah so this is the option we have to suggest to the company which one reimbursement isn't it yes and which is the second best option second best option is purchase yeah 2 lakh 32400 this is second best and which is the highest cost the highest cost is this one yeah so this is 3 lakh 3200 the highest cost no so if you're going to rank these options these proposals then rank one will be reimbursement this is rank two and this is rank three is that clear simple and straightforward this is how you have to do it you can also calculate cost per kilometer because you all know in all the option what is happening the kilometer it's constant no 20,000 20,000 20,000 and here the cost unit is also per kilometer okay so simply divide by the kilometers which are there in this question right kilometers are how much 20,000 so divide by 20 divide by 20 divide by 20,000 you will get cost per kilometer see 11.62 10.06 15.16 yeah these are cost per kilometer how would we calculate just 2 lakh 32,400 divide by 20,000 kilometer you get this like that for the remaining two proposals as well fine easy and the ranking you all know I told you already the lowest cost first ranking and then this one second ranking and the highest cost third ranking all right yeah so this is how you have to do it and then you have to write a note down below the conclusion the suggestion which you are giving to the company the best proposal is to let executive use his own car and the company will reimburse the expenses at you know 10 rupees per kilometer and also bear the insurance cost that's the best option because it has the lowest cost is it clear simple and straightforward this is how you have to solve this question okay another way to present this question is what you could also do the category over here standing charges running charges maintenance charges right but that's not required directly like this also you can do you have both the options fine 
if you want to do that way then you can see in the module they have done it over there okay i have uh, taught you both of the things right in the beginning i used to show you how to do the categorization and solve properly this was very simple question nothing is there over here so directly we can take it like this exactly you don't have to worry about it you will not lose any marks there are no uh, strict formats in costing okay All right so that's it see you in the next video bye